Hello, welcome back to JB Cook's channel. My name is JB and in this video I'm just going to talk about bacon grease and how I save my bacon grease and it's something you can save very easily and I like to strain it rather than pouring it all in at once. Some people do just pour it all in at once but if you strain it you can then strain it so that all of the crumbs and the particles of the bacon is completely gone, uh, then you can go ahead and throw it in your fridge and you'll be able to go ahead. This, this is going to last for a long time. Probably, I don't know when it would expire. I will use it, but it's going to uh, last for a long time. So it's a good idea to just get your little mason jar. This is a small one and you can get a bigger one or something to put it in and then just throw it in the fridge, but just strain it. And you can get like a cheesecloth uh, that are reusable on Amazon, or you can get little coffee filters. I've actually used uh, one of these, um, the bigger filters here. I actually have this to drain oil from my uh, 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 fryer of oil uh, and I, that way you can clean it and get all the particles out and then refill it with the same oil once or twice before you completely change it. Uh, so it wouldn't be practical to use these on every uh, two or three times a week. Kind of get expensive. So I've used some a little smaller like uh, coffee filters that are uh, disposable uh, maybe some kind of little drain. I wouldn't want to use any kind of uh, strainer that you would use like this uh, because it wouldn't catch all of the particles. Uh, but just something to really strain it out and then you can put it in the fridge and then you can go ahead and just like this cook an egg uh, by just throwing a little bit of that bacon grease on there, throwing your fried egg on there or anything else that you want to add a little bacon to it. And who don't like bacon with almost anything just gets that nice little flavor. So it's an excellent way. You can also use it to uh, season uh, your pan after uh, you get done cooking. You, know, you can kind of rinse it out and you can add a layer of that as actual a seasoning to uh, uh, do your pan instead of avocado oil or something. You can use bacon grease. That's fine as well. So I just wanted to show you how you can go ahead and or how I like to save bacon grease and keep it in the fridge uh, for a later use uh, whenever I need it. Uh, just be sure when you do it you may not want to put the bacon grease in when it's extremely hot. It might bust uh, the mason jar. You might burn yourself. Let it cool a little bit, but before it gets too cold, of course, and turns to uh, uh, hardens up. Once again, my name is JB. Thank you guys for watching. This is the JB Cooks channel right here, and uh, it's all about cooking. A lot of stuff coming up every week right here on this channel, mostly pertaining to the good old cast iron a skillet and uh we'll be doing some more going to be doing some uh outside as well uh got a fire pit so this summer i'll go ahead and crank up some wood and that we'll take this out there and cook on the fire pit uh, so keep it right here thank you for watching subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video